Hello everyone, let's start with a new video of OpenCAR Dropship Management Module. This module is highly beneficial for the OpenCAR store owner as admin can create various warehouses and assign products to uh, those warehouses. Also admin can create user uh, for a warehouse to manage uh, that warehouse. So to manage this module, we have to log into our admin panel. So this is our demo admin panel. So uh, you have to go to extensions, modules. After installation, you can find the dropship manager or warehouse manager here. You can uninstall the module or you can uh, edit or configure the module from here. So in configuration part, admin can enable or disable this module. So that's all for the configuration part and admin can save the configuration from here. Now we will go to the warehouse manager menu here. You will get uh, three uh, sub menus. The first one is manage warehouse, then the warehouse products, then assign warehouse. So uh, we will click on the first sub menu, uh, manage warehouse. By clicking on this menu, you will get a page where existing warehouse are displayed. You can easily edit any warehouse from uh, this edit button. So here uh, is the existing warehouse detail. So here is uh, the warehouse code, then the title of the warehouse, description. Then a user who is managing uh, the warehouse, you can change the user. Then the origin country, you can change the country. Then the origin state, now origin city, postal code, then origin street, longitude, latitude cannot be changed. It can be changed if you uh, change the postal code. Now the status, you can enable or disable a warehouse from uh, this field. Now applicable shipping method is flat and you can uh, save the modification from uh, this save button. But we will not do any modification. So uh, that's all for the edit part. Admin can also add new warehouse from this button. So adding a warehouse is uh, really uh, easy as admin have to enter the warehouse code then title description users uh, whom admin needs wants to uh, assign the warehouse for management. Now the origin country state city postal code origin street longitude latitude will be system generated as per your postal code and the status enable or disable then the applicable shipping method admin can select the shipping methods from here and admin can save uh, click on the save button to add uh, the warehouse so that's all for adding and managing the warehouse uh, now we will move to the warehouse product so here is the list of product So here all the products are uh, listed and uh, the details of the product like uh, name of the product, then model, total quantity and warehouse quantity, then the price, then status. Admin can view uh, the warehouse of uh, a particular product like the first product's warehouse. Admin can view, so uh, here is the warehouse uh, name warehouse one and now the quantity in warehouse and status enable disable add or remove quantity from this text area admin can enter a positive value to add uh, add quantity or admin can enter a negative uh, quant value for uh, removing uh, or deducting the quantity for the product and uh, by clicking on the save button the quantity will be saved so 
so here is the warning message that you have to uh, select a product so if I remove the quantity and save the product then the quantity is uh, reduced by 10 units and if I increase the quantity or admin can increase any amount of quantity for the product so here you can see uh, quantity is increased so that's all for the warehouse product part now we will move to the assign warehouse menu so here are all product displayed uh, in front of us so here admin can select any number of products and admin can easily add or remove quantity for those product and by clicking on the save the quantity will be added or uh, increased or decreased uh, from here admin can also assign the warehouse like warehouse 1 and 2 admin can assign any of the warehouse to uh, these products and by clicking on the save button the modification will be saved so uh, that's all for the assign warehouse part so I hope you have understood how this open card dropshipping management module uh, can be beneficial for the admin and how admin can easily add new warehouse and manage products on the warehouse and how admin can increase or decrease the quantity of product in the warehouse so thank you for watching this video stay connected